Hi everyone, welcome to this book club. My name is Karen. I am currently a fourth year student at Ryerson University, completing my bachelor's in social work. I'm also currently a placement student at For Safer Space. So the book that we will be looking at for this book club is the Burning by Laura Bates. Uh, this book was published in 2019, and some themes within this book are sexism and feminism. So a little bit about the author. So Laura is uh, an English feminist writer. She is from United Kingdom, and the main theme um, within many of her books is feminism and some other books that she has published is Everyday Fem Feminism published in 2014 and her recent book published this year um, in 2020 called Men Who Hate Women. So um, a summary of the book. So this non fiction book is about a girl named Anna. Both her and her mother have moved to leave their past behind them and have a fresh start. But unfortunately, rumors begin once again. And to distract herself from what is going on around her um, with the rumors, Anna starts to write about a local woman named Maggie who is suspected of witchcraft in the 1600s. And we realize um, in the book that the story about Maggie has uh, some disturbing similarities to Anna's own stories, own story, sorry. Um, and the story about Maggie is about a woman who was ashamed of herself and silenced by others. And so in this book club, um, we will only be discussing chapters one through six. So chapter one, uh, this chapter we look at um, Anna moving into her new house with her mother. And we can tell um, that Anna is feeling, uh, that she's not feeling so thrilled to have moved and we see um, her expressing her thoughts and feelings in this chapter. And chapter two, um, this chapter starts with Anna reaching for her phone, but then she realizes that she no longer has a phone after an incident that had happened. So we learn that a little bit about Anna and her past, and we know that something happened but we don't know yet what had happened um and we also learned that anna feels that her mother is trying to look for a new quote unquote anna and does not realize that anna is still hurting and what had happened in the past still happened and there's nothing that both of them can change and in this chapter as well, we also learn that Anna has lost her father. Unfortunately, we learn that he um, passed away. And this chapter, we also learn um, more about Anna's life in general. And she also goes around and explores her new neighborhood as well. So chapter three, um, this chapter, Anna uh, starts her first day at her new school. And in this chapter, it's about Anna reflecting and looking back at her old school and thinking about her old friends that she had. And she reflects on her past that we still don't know about um, what happened but she tries to be positive and tries to leave it behind her and start fresh at her new school. So in chapter four, in this chapter, um, we are still following Anna on her first day of school 
um, now she, in this chapter, she's in chemistry class. And um, so she's introduced to the class. Um, we as readers are introduced to some new students in this chapter as well. And it's just a very um, simple chapter. It's just us following her in her chemistry class of her and um, reading about her thoughts and how she's feeling about the class as well. So um, chapter five. So in chapter five, Anna is trying to keep a low profile, but um, we learn that this doesn't last long until Thursday morning in drama class when Anna is assigned to do a presentation about herself. And um, when her and her partner are working on the presentation, Anna lies about herself to her partner, Louise. So um, when Louise presents to the class what she had learned about Anna, she shares how Anna is mysterious and that she find, she wants to find out more about Anna and her past. So this kind of um, leads to Anna not being low profile anymore and people knowing about her and wanting to know um, more about her and kind of puts a target on her, which um, Anna did not want. And the final chapter for this book club is chapter six. And in this chapter, we learn, um, sorry, in this chapter, Anna is in history class. And uh, we read about a note going around. Um, and on that note, there is a list of names of girls. And beside each name, there is numbers. And Anna realizes that these numbers behind each name is, besides, sorry, beside each name is, um, represents ratings of these girls. So Anna is very furious and um, when she sees this and um, yeah, so this um, chapter just focuses more on, again, Anna in class. She's in history class. Her teacher is explaining um, their upcoming assignment that they have to do while this note is being passed along. And um, Anna expresses her frustration um, when she realizes that on this note, it's ratings of girls. So these are um, some social media of the author, Laura Bates. Um, we have the website of her project, Everyday Sexism Project, which looks at everyday um, experiences um, of sexism. And we also have her Instagram as well. And that concludes um, this book club. Thank you for listening. And I hope you were able to learn something new and enjoyed the book so far.